Welcome to the Ray Festival live in Bulgaria and online wherever you are in the world. Okay, it's a pleasure and an honor to be here with you all, to be here in this geometry of the Human Design Grave Festival 2024. When I was met by Human Design, when I was found by Human Design in 2005, I was doing a, um, a post-graduation studies in linguistics. Uh, I was learning about uh, a, a new grammar in the world called uh, the um, systemic functional grammar. Very interesting this because human design came afterwards, which is also a system, human design system. Um, and basically, you know, as we know with human design in a continuous evolution, form evolution, 70, uh, in 1971, we completed the formation of our brain and we then had that expansion to the emotional consciousness and then open up to this nine center from the seven to the nine center consciousness and potential in the world so i'm here to share this passion with you which is human design and language and communication so when i was there at university before human design before 2005 when human design came in my, into my life i was studying this um, uh, very important uh, fact that a word doesn't really have a meaning if uh, that word doesn't have a context. So we have been uh, learning language and second language in the world for many, many, many years, um, uh, believing uh, that uh, a word had a meaning. That was uh, the beginning when men start looking into language and what uh, the place of language in communication really um, as a, a scientific uh, observation. So the linguistics, they start seeing that um, a word needs a context. That's very simple, but it has everything to do with these great times of change that we are in and we have been from 1987 to 2027, which is this last years that, that we're going to be living before we have this change of uh, global condition for a new moment where we know, people here from human design know that is the moment of uh, um, a kind of uh, unprecedented uh, emotional consciousness. So language there in certain time, in the moment of um, mutation of the human being also was seen like something that needs a context. And so we need a context too. And I see that the neutrinos, the other, the, the conditioning that we get from the other, which is life. There is no good nor bad, we know that. And uh, so we also are a word, let's say, of a music, a great uh, orchestra of life. And we need a context. Um, when we are with somebody, we have a um, opportunity there of communication and also to express ourselves because all of us are designed uniquely and we have a uniquely um, truth center. So this is new language. This is a new way of building semantics in the world. So that is what I call times of great mutation and for me begun when human design arrived into my life up to today. Okay, in the body graph, where is, you know, Rome? <laughs> like we used to, when we are studying at IHDS, we hear a lot when we're studying the, the um, throat center that uh, 
uh, everything in the body graph wants to get to the center, the, the to, to, to the, the throat center. Uh, it's like all roads want, get to Rome. And it's simple as that. Um, from 1987, Ra was the first student and the first teacher that had this information, this new uh, unprecedented information that describes a human being with 11, let's say, points of metamorphosis of all those roads that get to Rome in that being, because it's not going to be only what is defined in the, the in the design in the in the person. It's going to be all the conditioning that is getting. It's going to be um, also the the neutrino weather. It's going to be a solar return or a cycle, a, a great cycle in the life of the person. All of that is going to be part of how that person uses language and uh, communicates around. So a little bit to remember, uh, because on the last uh, uh, talk uh, at the Rave Marathon, I explained into detail this question of the, let's say, uh, linguistic timeline that the human being has been experienced. So the scientific uh, group of people in the world, they have a starting point to say, okay, here began grammar, and that is in India, uh, about the six or uh, five or six century before BC, uh, by an Indian grammarian Panini, who and he wrote it the Ashtash. I, I cannot even pronounce that word, which is this, uh, which means a book of eight chapters. So it was a structure. It was the first linguistic is structure the human being has a registration well this is happening during the time of uh, we were building our brains according to human design and so begun there and went through a whole experience of development of the form and gets to the 21st century where we are. And we have two main linguistics who have, uh, let's say, give direction to how nowadays we are educated at schools or how we are educated to write and to interpret. So we have Noam Chomsky, we have Mark Halliday, and I put, I found the holidays uh, uh, date of birth. He is, he was born in 13th of April. It's very close to Ra's birthday. Ra was born on the 9th. And, and so they are from the same, let's say, I think face, uh, God face uh, or something. Anyway, holiday describes, Chomsky suggests, and that is us. Over the last century, language and communication history in the world, Chomsky suggests that uh, we human beings, we have the ability to produce and structure sentences. And this is innate for our universal grammar. But this universal grammar, it doesn't stay, you know, fixed. And here I have many questions like, this universal grammar is that from the not self is from the result of uh, strategy and authority. That's where we, we come with mutation. And I'll come on the next few slides. Uh, we get into that. But here we have the background. Uh, also, Chomsky suggests that it's part of the genetic in where inheritance of human beings. And we are not aware of these structural principles any more than we are aware of most of our other biological and cognitive properties. So here we have uh, the explanation maybe of uh, uh, external authority, our minds 
because it's it's the universal grammar in evolution is in, in genetic inheritance and we are not aware it's just there the mind thinking 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 as a um, structure in the being holiday comes along and say that language is a systemic resource for meaning that will, will be building information. So it has a meaning potential. How people exchange meanings by language. So here in one picture, we have like the, let's say the, the, the programming of uh, our, our Ajna is building the Maya, <laughs> our own Maya, uh, the universal Maya, the universal grammar. It gets more and more and more uh, um, interesting for some and not interesting for others, I imagine, that uh, uh, linguistics is a minefield of sub-disciplines. So if you're really going down, going to go down to detail, you're going to see that it's going to be everywhere uh, in the life of the person. And it has a system. That's how Ajna has been, in a sense, uh, able to have a control and power over the decision of the body. So we are, in 1987, when the human design comes into the world and Ra as the first student, the process begun. The process of developing unprecedented, unique semantics, it's a new way of building meaning for oneself, linguistically, internally, but here through cellular deconditioning with certified original human design self-knowledge education, which means foundation, identify and go and prove your own self there and see with your own eyes, with your own perception, really, who you are, because I mean, personally, what uh, I uh, have uh, um, proved myself uh, and seen uh, as uh, through my design is uh, things that I could never imagine there when I arrived at human design, because uh, it was not uh, possible. My brain didn't have built in there, you know, all the, 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 the unprecedented information. Human design uh, comes and um, at the beginning, as people that have uh, many years of experience here know that uh, there, are, there, uh, there are moments where our, uh, the illusion of our Maya is simply, simply shattered. And we get sad, we get upset because it's not anymore like we thought it was, what we think, we think, we think, we think. This is the language of mutation. The original and certified human design system by Ra is about mutation. The moment you begin a strategy, trying it, tasting it, practicing it, bringing to your life, the more you do, there is no way you're going to end up your day without mutating. But nowadays, even the, 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 the neutrino weather is bringing, um, a lot, a lot of uh, conditioning, uh, global conditioning, 
for mutation because times, times of great mutation at the moment. And human design is the science of the great mutation, is the language for the future. Although we assume when we speak that we are expressing the thoughts of our mind, what we communicate is actually determined by the 11 themes of the gates in the throat center. Page 54, for those who like to have a go, <laughs> the 21st century now mutation is education through the science of differentiation of human design. His strategies changes everything. Inner authority changes everything in a unique, a unique way to each person and one at a time. This builds a, a new, uh, a, let's say not new because new is something that gets old. <laughs> I would say, uh, um, unique, uh, unprecedented uh, ways of communication and language. Exciting of the Ajna, because the majority of the world live like that. If you go into uh, the town center, sit on a small square there, and you watch people come and going, you're going to see that like they are carrying their heads. It's like the body's walking and they're carrying their heads. And their heads, they are there conditioned according to the day of the moment, the neutrino weather, to wh whoever they have slept with. And the last thing they can imagine is who they really are. And this is mutation and education. Self-knowledge literacy is the language of human design. And so remember, we are in the great times of mutation and um, everybody is at one place. Being themselves or not, they are occupying a space and the movement of the mandala, the, the, the rave mandala, it's very precise for everybody, uh, despite the person maybe not being uh, aware. <laughs> the person may take a decision with their authority and inner, inner authority and strategy without being aware of it because, because it's the DNA. You know, so with or without human design, we are here for what is, and human design is education, self-knowledge education for the future. Thank Big you. kiss from Brazil to all of you. <laughs> bye, bye. Bye. Thank you for being with us on this journey at the Human Design Rave Festival 2024.